no time for anything today. We worked late yesterday and we're on our way back into work. We're gonna go do it all over again. Except on a better time schedule today, I think. Picked up that load last night at 5 p.m. in Winnipeg, brought it to Kenora, brought it back to Winnipeg. Walked out of the, well, drove off from the yard when I was done everything at 2 a.m. So I'm pretty much going back as soon as, uh, or as quickly as the law will let me. I have to have a certain amount of consecutive hours off before I start a new day. Uh, so here we are, starting a new day the right way. Oh, green light, green light, that is the right way. Cheers. Nice and slow, it's slippery out. Last night, was uh that was something else but i volunteered to do the load so i'm not complaining it was it was a good day the roads were just nasty though but my other co-worker was gonna do it but uh he would have been back later than me so i volunteered to do one so he could go home a little earlier and then uh i could just do a quick run to kenora and back oh, oh little did i know mother nature had something in store for me <laughs> <laughs> it was a blizzard. But we made it. Here we are. We're going to go do it again today, except Mother Nature's a little happier with us today. I guess we impressed her yesterday. We're doing another Kenora run. Same thing as yesterday. Except we're leaving a little earlier. Not much earlier, but a couple hours. And the roads should be a lot better. So I should get home before 3 a.m. today. Someone bites the dust. Oh, they just about hit that sign. Oh, 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 oh. oh man, that was close. Yikes. And what happened here? Someone, these two guys getting in an accident here? Well, why else would they be parked there, right? I don't see any damage. She's a slippery one out there, folks. Careful. Better than yesterday though. Man, the, the ride back from Kenora yesterday was intense. Blizzard all the way into Manitoba, up to uh, where the prairies start, where the open fields start, and then blowing snow. And then when you got to the city here, it was literal sheer ice on every single road. I didn't see one salt truck out. I don't know if their plan was to clear all the roads first and then salt them, because now they're salted. But I got in at about uh, 1 a.m. or whatever, 1, 1 30 a.m. when I was coming into the city from Kenora. And it's just an absolute skating rink. And today it's just cold. So uh, we got the polar vortex coming down today. And it's gonna be here with us for the next week or two. Uh, temperature's down to about minus 40 at night. Uh, below that with the wind chill, minus 35 at least. During the day we're sitting at uh, probably minus 25 I'm talking in Celsius here uh, so minus 40 at night that's where Celsius and Fahrenheit meet so when you ask what's 40 Celsius in Fahrenheit it's 40 Fahrenheit same thing I've got two tractors in my trailer tied down in there I'm bringing them over to its rightful owner over in Headingley, and then bringing the empty trailer back. And then, there's another Kenora load today yet, but I think the other driver was gonna take care of it. We shall see. It sorta goes whoever gets back first. And in these conditions, it could be, it could go either way, but he left a lot earlier than I did, so he's probably almost back already from what he was doing this morning. And hey, anybody wanna buy an $800,000 home? Prime real estate, a great view of the city landfill. The smell is free. I've heard a lot of stories already of people buying houses in this neighborhood. 
Uh, it's a very expensive neighborhood. People buying the houses there, realizing that the landfill is right there and all of the warm air from the south washes over it and fills that whole new neighborhood with this garbage smell all day, every day, all summer. So I've heard of a few people who have bought and sold already. Been losing money on it. I warned you. I warned you, don't buy real estate across the highway from a dump. Okay, that's some trucker Josh knowledge and wisdom. That one's free. I warned you. She stinks. I'm just bobtailing right now, so gotta pick up a loaded van trailer in the St. James area of Winnipeg. I just dropped off an empty van at a different place. They're gonna fill that up with stuff there. Day. Besides the fact that it's been minus 33, it's, uh, it's been good. It's been a good day. And you remember that lineup? I think we talked about it yesterday, right? That lineup uh, down here, that was actually for the testing site. It's crazy, eh? Long lines. Go on there, little buddy. This is that time of year where all the snow banks block everybody's view. I'm really hoping that the weather's going to be better today out in Ontario. On the way around here, on the perimeter, I saw a couple of trailers that had come out of Ontario and they had a lot of snow built up on the back of them, which usually means that they drove through a whole bunch of snow recently. So we'll see when we get there. Can't be much worse than yesterday. Any worse than yesterday and I might have to say, oh, maybe not. That was about my limit. It wasn't too bad in Kenora. In Kenora, the weather was good, snowing a little bit. And out on the prairies here, it was good too, but it was that stretch between. There's a massive blizzard between Kenora and Falcon Lake, Manitoba on the Trans-Canada, and it was just, it was nutty. I was following this one four-wheeler. I was probably doing like, I don't know, uh, 30 miles an hour, 50 kilometers an hour. Okay, right? It's, it's a, blizzard go whatever speed you need to but every time that there would be traffic coming at him on the uh, on the two-lane highway he would almost stop he would literally stop in the middle of the lane we had so many people that were just about plowing into us behind us because they weren't expecting people to stop oh boy I mean if you're that nervous you probably shouldn't be on the road in the first place that was uh, an interesting, interesting drive, that's for sure. Oh, and that lineup is super long again today. Holy, wow. That whole lane over there on the left, that's all testing, uh, COVID testing. These are all the people right now that are showing symptoms and have been instructed to get tested or uh, at least Maybe they've been self-instructed, I don't know. But the, these people are all the people who are not feeling good today. You guys keep your windows, you stay over there in that lane, I'll stay over here, my full six feet plus a lane. Yikes, there's that many people feeling sick. And it goes all the way down here past this block, this is Sargent Avenue, past Ellis to the testing site. Same thing as yesterday. Just like a hundred, hundreds of people find my gear here. You guys are all sick? Yikes. Just yesterday, out of here, there was 825 positive cases. Wonder what there's gonna be today. I don't like talking about the pandemic much on my channel. It's, it always brings out the worst in people, it seems, and everyone starts, I don't want you guys to start arguing in my comment section, okay? I'm just, I'm just trying to highlight, look at that long lineup. I'm not taking this side or that side. Uh, I just want us to not fight, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I avoid topics like this usually, but that is pretty crazy. I've never seen that like that, like it was yesterday and today. That's uh, interesting. Imagine waiting in line all day for that. X. They got cops there controlling the traffic. Goes all the way up here. I 
wonder how fast that line moves. I mean, everybody's sort of moving forward now, it looks like, but. Yikes, so here's the traffic lights up ahead. These, this is Ellis, I gotta turn right here. But just around the corner to the left, that's where the center is. That's where all these people are going. Yikes. All the way around here. I gotta turn right. It's just behind this building, this Dufresne building there. That's where they're going. So far, I'm still feeling good. We've got 55,000 pounds in the trailer behind us. Heavy. I can feel it, that's for sure. Just leaving the neighborhood now, just drove past that line again. trailers again. Forgot my balaclava so I'm just using my face mask to keep my face warm. Huh? That's what they're good for. Dual purpose. I need to clean out the lights. There's a bunch of snow in the tail lights of the trailer and it all hardened so I need my crowbar to clear off my tail lights. Come with me. Let me show you what happens when it's minus 35 outside. Okay? There's the trailer I just brought in here. Brought it into the dock. Here's the trailer that I'm taking back. It's empty. 
you'll understand in a minute, okay? This is good for anything you want it to be good for. All right? Fixes just about anything. A couple of good wax from this, it'll fix anything. Even that crazy guy you don't like. I don't condone anything. All right, I'm trying to get these airbags to fill with air. Sounds like they're trying. Check this out. I'll check these taillights out. <laughs> and it's rock hard. Uh, gotta pop it out. There we go. I don't want to break the light, but it was too hard for just my fingers to pull it out of there. So. Pop it out. There you go. Beautiful. They say and people understand the language of the highway when they can see those. Damn it. I've never had to use a crowbar to clear off my uh, taillights before. This is a first. You are witnessing something that happened to me for the first time. When in doubt, use a crowbar. Always carry one with you, just in case, just in case. Get that all out of there. All right. Now on these cold weather days, you want to have a winter front on the front of your truck. I was carrying 55,000 pounds in the trailer behind me. So you still want your engine to breathe. So I left this hole open so it could breathe, pulling that heavy load. However, now we're gonna be pulling an empty trailer back. So I'm gonna close this. This actually isn't the uh, the grill cover for this truck. It's actually, I think, for a Kenworth, but we made it work with some zip ties. Okay? Which works out great, because then the air can still get in here on the sides. But when I'm bobtailing, pulling an empty trailer or just trying to get the truck to warm up first thing in the morning I close this up and that keeps the heat of the motor in there keeps the cold air from out here from cooling off the engine too much right otherwise you can't get hot air inside the truck that's what's going to keep your cab nice and warm it's also going to help prevent you from gelling up you want to keep that hot air under your hood and keep the cold air from out here out not all of it just most of it on a day like today it's about minus 35 right now when i'm going down the highway the wind chill's probably got to be about minus 60. so even with that whole grill covered up there the air can still get under the bumper and get to the motor and stuff see if we can just sneak right out of town here. Just scooch right out. Quietly roll past all these sleeping people. I got... Along this road for five kilometers. Thanks, Karen. I was planning on it. Well, this is the hill. I'm empty, so I gotta take a little bit of a running start at it. It's not a very big hill, but it is very steep. Like I said yesterday, about at least a 12% grade. At least. Not much room. This stretch of road is pretty fun. It's more fun when I don't have a vehicle behind me with their high beams on. But there's a... Uh, it's almost like the neighborhood here did a collective effort to decorate for Christmas. a few little little decorations here and there but as you go down the road further they get more intense that guy's bright lights behind me are bothering me and almost everybody's got something oh there's a big one down there Back 
in Winnipeg and you can see how cold it is just by all the exhaust coming out over the buildings and you can probably see it in my mirror there. Whew, yep. It's minus 30 plus the wind chill. Plus us moving through the air, which makes it even colder in the truck. But I'm nice and toasty warm in here. This Peter's keeping me nice and warm. That guy's just flying. Yikes. Or maybe I'm going slow. Ah, I'm probably just going slow, but that's okay. The roads are icy. Speed limit's 70 kilometers an hour here, or 45. I don't need to do that. Just coming down road 90. I'm gonna drop this box off with its rightful owners. It's empty. They can fill it up again and we'll come pick it up. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, okay. Yeah, we can stop, we, yeah, we'll stop. Yep, yep, oh, 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 yeah. Nice controlled stop on the ice. Pat yourself on the back, Tricker Josh. I'm tired. Let's see if I can get going again empty trailer behind me. <laughs> Spinning doesn't help. All it helps is make it more icy at the intersection. I should stop doing that. Nice and easy. <laughs> Still a little slippery today. So anyway, like I was saying, we're gonna drop this box off where it belongs and we're gonna bobtail back to the yard, jump in the pickup, run home, jump in bed, the end. much exactly like that I'm trying to get diesel to come up there too he's down here <laughs> rushed home and dove into bed had some weird hours this week but uh, I'm just finishing up all my my YouTube editing Brits at work so I try to get all my editing done when she's at work so when she's at home we can do other things together like watch TV and be productive by watching TV and stuff like that I mean, those shows won't watch themselves. There's, a, there's, there's film crews out there that went through a lot of effort to create all of these Netflix movies for us to watch, and I am not gonna let their uh, work go to vain. Go in vain? We're gonna watch them, right, Shelly? <laughs> so we've got the sheet over the bed here right now uh, so that the dogs can go on here. They can only go on here now when there's a sheet on here because we got new blankets for Christmas. We bought them for ourselves. It's our Christmas gift to us. We didn't do very much Christmas gift buying this year. So uh, this year is, this year is more focused on our IVF, which is coming up soon in January. Diesel, can you excuse me, please? No? Okay. Should I be off? I wanna show you guys the blankets. They're not allowed to be on here, uh, just on our blankets. We're trying to save them, obviously. So there's mine. And here's Brits. They are sort of matching. They're from uh, the same company, obviously. They're just different flannel designs, different plaid designs. One second, I don't want the sheet to fall off. They're very, very comfortable and cozy, if you were wondering. Worth the buy. Bought them at Superstore. <laughs> okay. So, yes, we sleep with uh, two blankets. I've explained this before, but for those of you who haven't seen this before, Hashtag married life, right? Are you one of those couples that still sleeps under the same blanket? Why? Get yourself a better sleep and get separate blankets. See, I toss and turn, and she tosses and turns, as people do. And we like to sleep with our house a little colder. But uh, even if we didn't, whenever one person turns over, all that cold air rushes under the blankets. And wakes me up, or it just wakes me up in general. When you have a blanket each, doesn't matter what's going on on this side of the bed. It doesn't bother me over here and I sleep through it. We just sleep a lot better like this. So. Yeah, new blankets. New pillowcases under there. We have a mountain of pillows, obviously, because I have a wife. And we got this put up there this year. 
We got this new bed frame that we bought this year and mattress, which is really awesome. We really like our mattress. And it needs to be uh, cleaned up a little bit in here, mostly on my side and stuff, but my room over here, this is sort of my project for uh, the holidays. Get this all organized and cleaned up. Got my bull snot corner over there. Uh, don't worry, still recommending bull snot to everybody I meet. Uh, it's a cleaning product. However, in the winter time, I don't do as much cleaning because there's no point. You wash it and it freezes. Or you wash it and it's dirty right away again in five minutes. So we're going to wait till spring and we're going to keep everything shining like new. Uh, where is this here? It's like this. This is something I haven't used a lot, uh, but it works well. I have used it. It's a Bull Snot Blastable Order Eliminator. Give them a quick shout out here. Uh, we've had accidents happen in the house since we have dogs. There are times when there are accidents. And that... Blastable odor eliminator works like a charm. It, it worked really well. It really did. Not just saying that. It actually does what it says it does. So anyway, that's uh, well, that's what happened. I hope you like my reenactment. I did it the best I could. It was dark outside. That was the only thing that was really different. <laughs> we'll see you guys tomorrow or uh, whenever my next video is. Remember, it's the holidays, so I have a few days without videos coming up. But we'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Welcome to all the new people. Check out the description below my video and you'll uh, find a lot more. You'll find me all over the internet. I'm everywhere.